One of the games I'm really looking forward to in the month of September is the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I never really played the Spyro games as a kid. I played the first one and rented it, and I had a lot of fun with the game. I thought it was really well done, and it was definitely a product of the time, this fun, sprawling, open 3D world. And so I was looking forward to checking out this collection, and I still am to some degree. Of course, with the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, my relationship was pretty similar with that as well. I had only played the first game, and I picked it up on the Nintendo Switch with the Crash Insane Trilogy. And I absolutely fell in love with Crash 3. I think it's one of the best games of all time, honestly. A really refined game and a really fun and awesome game. So it's a great way when these collections come out for people who maybe missed the games when they originally released or younger gamers to check out these games. So I'm really a fan of these collections because I think they're really good for the video gaming industry. But unfortunately, Activision is making a huge mistake with the Spyro Reignited trilogy. They are requiring that you download both Spyro 2 and 3 and only Spyro 1 will be on the disc for the PS4, the Xbox One, and of course Steam. So this is a huge problem in my opinion, and it's something we need to talk about. So sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's get into the situation. Hey, RGT85, hey Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards. So the cover art for Spyro Reignited Trilogy was recently released and a lot of people noticed something right off of the bat. On the box, it says that you have to download Spyro 2 and 3 via internet connection, that only Spyro Run will be on the disc. And this upset a lot of people. A lot of people were wondering if this was actually official, if this was going to be the final box art of the game, and if this was actually confirmed. So many websites reached out to Activision to get sort of word on what this situation was entailing and what it meant for the game. And Activision gave a pretty standard announcement to all of the websites, stating that as with most games today, downloading an update after purchase is quite common. The language on packaging and on the web is to let players know the requirements for Spyro Reignited Trilogy. And this, of course, is making a lot of people mad because essentially what's happening is when you purchase the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, there is only Spyro on the disc. Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 are not on the disc. And you have to download these games separately onto your hard drive in order to enjoy them. So essentially the disc is only one game game and that really just bothers me you're seeing this more and more in the video game industry you're seeing it with certain systems as well but I kind of want to break down both reasoning for why this is happening and then talk about how the effects it'll have on the gaming industry as a whole so why is Spyro 2 and 3 requiring an internet download obviously these are pretty big games but definitely not something in the scope of Horizon Zero Dawn or God of War which all fit on a single disc well one of the main things you have to take into account is probably development stuff with this game. The game is scheduled to release on September 21st and I'm sure Activision really wants to hit that mark because when you look at the second half of 2018 from September to beyond to around the Christmas time there are a ton of games coming out whether you're a Switch owner, a PS4 owner, an Xbox One owner there are like a million different games coming out. You've got games like Fallout, you've got a new Call of Duty, you've got a new Tomb Raider, you've got a new Just Cause, you've got Smash Brothers, you've got Pokemon. There's so many games coming out and essentially what happens is when these big games release in the fall or winter of 2000 or fall of winter of a year usually there's a casualty usually a game doesn't sell as well as it could have if it released at a different time because there's so many games coming out the game that springs to mind for last year's casualty was definitely Wolfenstein 2 a fantastic game on the PS4 and the Xbox one but just did not sell very well I don't think it met ex expectations for Bethesda because of how many games released around that time frame so unfortunately games get lost in the shuffle so I I could see why Activision wants to hit this date but the problem is we've seen Activision do things like this before so it kind of makes me worried about the status of Spyro Reignited Trilogy because the big example that comes to mind is of course Tony Hawk 5. Tony Hawk 5 was essentially crapped out because Activision was losing that license and they wanted to get one more game out there before they lost the license so when that game shipped there was essentially like nothing on the disc you literally had to download the whole game onto the disc and Tony Hawk 5 was an absolute broken buggy mess arguably one of the worst games of all time definitely one of the worst games of this generation and you had to download this massive patch 
patch, I say, that would allow you to basically get the full game and play the full game. And there were so many bugs, it was just riddled with so many issues that it was disgusting. So you could see that to uh, Activision doesn't really care. They're more interested in pushing out a game to hit the target release date, which from a business standpoint does sort of make sense. You do want to hit these marks so that you can make the most money off your game. The problem is you sort of damage consumer trust with situations like this. And we've been seeing more and more companies he's doing things like this especially on the Nintendo Switch and I do want to briefly talk about that because Capcom is very very guilty when it comes to this with the Nintendo Switch but they also did something very curious with the Mega Man X Legacy Collection which released on the Switch Xbox One and PS4 so with Capcom games on the Nintendo Switch if you're not familiar a lot of them require a separate download the Resident Evil Revelations Collection you got uh, the first game on the cartridge the second game you had to download the Mega Man Legacy Collection the first one you only got the first part of the collection on the cartridge. You had to download the second part of the collection, which is absolutely insane considering these were NES games. Like, there's no excuse for that. And then we also saw it with the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. And Capcom actually did the same thing with the X Legacy Collection on the PS4 and the Xbox One. If you bought a physical version of that game, you actually got two discs. And that really confused a lot of people. But I think it kind of makes sense if you think about it because they might be trying to get two separate SKU purchases on the same thing. So, if a person buys this game and there's two separate discs and they're both different games then essentially that uh, will target two different SKUs but I don't even think that really works in the grand scheme of things because at the end of the day it's still just got one UPC sticker so I digress one thing to take into account like I briefly touched on earlier in the video is maybe it's a size issue but I don't really buy that argument because when you look at the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy that's pretty much the same sort of style of game it is a 3D sort of open world platformer obviously Spyro is bigger than that but even if Spyro was double the size of Crash Bandicoot Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy on the Switch was only like 6.7 gigs and that was for all three games so it easily fit onto a cartridge and Blu-ray discs hold so much more space than of course cartridges do which is why you're seeing things like mandatory downloads on the Nintendo Switch sometimes it's because they have to do that so I don't buy the notion that maybe this game is just too big to fit on a single disc worst case you could do something like Capcom did and put Put it on two separate discs it's not like blu-ray discs cost a lot of money when it comes to manufacturing honestly this is just a decision to screw over people who are buying physical games and I know what you're saying to yourself is the physical game market a minority nowadays are they really sort of the outcast when it comes to things because of the rise of digital gaming and I think that's a good point honestly I do feel like physical games are becoming a smaller and smaller medium but the problem is if you don't express problems with this if you don't express displeasure with these decisions the digital age is going to come sooner than later and I've talked about the digital age many times how games can just be removed at the blink of an eye because of a licensing issue or because a company just feels like taking it down and then that game is lost forever there is no way to ever play that game again you also have to factor in some basic things there's still a lot of people who have no internet or really bad internet there's still a lot of people who just want to go to a store and buy the game come home and simply play the game is Activision going to alienate uh, sales for Spyro? Is this going to hurt the Spyro sales? I really don't think so. I think this is still a definitely vocal minority issue. But if you don't bring up these problems, if you don't, you know, express displeasure with Activision's decisions or other companies' decisions by screwing over people who are buying the physical copy of the game, then they're just going to continue to do this. Companies are going to continue to do this. If people don't speak up about things like this, then this will become a non-issue and this will just become the standard. And I don't like that standard and I think there's enough people out there that don't like this standard as well to where maybe we can make a little noise maybe we can say hey Activision we don't like this we want everything on one cartridge we want everything on one disc if it's doable you need to do it I definitely think this is a development thing I think they're rushing to meet that September 21st date I honestly hope it doesn't impact the quality of Spyro 2 and 3 in this trilogy because I think those games are gonna be a lot of fun to play those are the games I'm really looking forward to playing as someone who missed out on them on the PS1. I just hope this isn't becoming more and more prevalent in the gaming industry. And I don't want to see things like this continuing to happen, especially in this generation and in the next generation. It's not time for an all digital ace. Physical media still has a presence. Physical media still has a reason to exist. I know you make more money on digital sales, but let's face it, some people just prefer physical. So that's all I really have to say on this subject. It's very, it's definitely very disappointing. 
I still will be reviewing the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I'm still going to play the games, of course, and I will get probably a download code for it. So for me personally, I'm going to have to download all of these games anyways. But as a consumer, I would not like this. It's not going to make me want to go out there and buy a physical copy of the game to add to my collection. I ended up with a physical copy of Crash Bandicoot and a digital copy and then another digital copy because I ended up liking the game so much and I wanted to have it in my physical collection. Spyro Reignited, it's not going to be the same thing though because I don't want to have to have a single game on a disc and then have to download two other games. So let me know what you think of this situation in the comments section down below and as always thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications and I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.